keep my hands to myself No matter how hard I'm trying to I want you all to myself Your metaphorical gin and juice So come on, give me a taste Of what it's like to be next to you Won't let one drop go to Good morning guys, happy vlogmas day 5 um, I'm about to get ready for work Babe is, she's left to take the youngest one to school On her way back to get the oldest one So hopefully she'll check in Just wanted to say good morning And I'll be back once I'm ready See you guys in a few So hey guys, it's the midday check in I'm on my, well, I'm going to even say midday because it's after 2 o'clock, almost 3 o'clock. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I have a lunch, a uh, late lunch. My lunch is at 2.15, but I didn't get off the phones until a little bit after 2.30. So I'm on lunch now. Just came to check in on you guys. Hopefully, Bae did some checking in. Um, not sure if she did or not. But hopefully, she did because she promised y'all. She was gonna check in. So I hope everybody's having a great work day for my day. Um <clears throat> excuse me. It's okay for me. You know, it's my first day back since my grandfather passed away. So um today's been going by a little bit fast. Hopefully it'll go by faster after lunch. But um Today we're just going to our youngest, not our youngest, our oldest one has his solo winter concert. So, so I'm back. I was cut off. My phone rang. Um, phone number I didn't know. But um, like I was stating, my oldest, our oldest son has his solo winter concert today. So we're going to give you some footage of that later on. And I don't know what else we're doing besides that today. So, might be another short one, but we promise you guys a video. So, here's your video, and I'll see you all this afternoon when I get off. Hopefully, well, me and baby together. So, you see us both. We'll check back in. So, this is what we do after school: sitting back seats, take off your shirt, like it's normal. I mean, I don't know what's wrong with these kids nowadays. Happy vlogmas. <laughs> That was her check-in all day, y'all. Look at him. Did you get a good picture of that yeah, boy? Yeah, I got him. Right? Stop. Go ahead. Fill him up. What do you have to say about this, son? This is what do you have to say about this? <laughs> hey, people. Good evening. Good afternoon. Feliz Navidad. Yeah, and if I enunciated it wrong, forgive me. I'm, I'm learning. I didn't check in today. I just had a very long day. I haven't taken any bereavement time through everything I've been working and dealing with everything and I think it's starting to have an effect on me. I've lost my appetite and it's okay because I can afford to miss a meal at 13. I can afford that. But I think it's just really taking a toll on me. Um, I got some things I need to do at work in this next week or so, week and, and a half. Then I think I'm going to take my three day bereavement. Um, you know, I'm just worried about my wife of course worried about grandma emma of course um still overwhelmed by everything with him it's a bit much but to anybody who worked with me thank you for signing the bereavement cards i greatly appreciate it i got i appreciate it too because my work ain't showed me no kind of sympathy i, I don't need the sympathy but i'm just saying just to I say i did get some bereavement cards and i'm very grateful um, it felt nice to, well, not that I was gone, because I was in and out the office, um, but it was nice to know that people are, do care about that you, they were thinking about that you they were thinking sweet. about me, and thinking about my wife, so I'm very grateful for that. Um, I did have two people that reached out with a text, and they didn't know who I, they are. I was, Hi, Miss I... Kathy. <laughs> Hi, Ebony. Ebony, you hitting on my wife, but hi, Ebony. <laughs> no, but, you know. It's just, it's a lot. It's overwhelming. I, I think it's affecting me more than I thought that it would. I knew that it would, but like, it's really cut my appetite. 
But like I said, I can afford to miss a meal of 13. Um, I'm just trying to get through I'm, it. I think I'm more overwhelmed because I still just don't believe it. I just don't. Yeah. But on that note, <coughs> we are going to be going ice skating soon. <laughs> And we cannot well, skate. she's going to be skating. I'm going to be recording because I'm going to be out of commission if I go skating. Yeah, and I'll probably be out of commission too because I can't <laughs> skate. Um, but we're going to take the boys. Um, we're going back down to Sumter and we'll probably... Oh. We're, yeah, we're going back to... Um, <laughs> we're going back to see Grandma Emma. We'll probably record then. Um, you know, well, they're gonna be helping her put up her Christmas tree, so we'll record that. Yeah, and we still gotta put up ours because ours ours is still not up. And you know, this is affecting me because usually I have the Christmas tree the day after Thanksgiving. No so, Thanksgiving day. <laughs> and, yeah, it's usually up, but we were already just busy and dealing with a lot of stuff, and then this happened. But we are gonna put up our Christmas tree, and I'll probably just leave it up till like February. This time again. Um. <laughs> But we're excited about the holidays. Um, we're looking forward to it, but not looking forward to it. But we are looking forward to it, but we're not. If you kind of yeah. know what we mean, you know. Um, what else is going on? Uh, work is good. I love what I do. I love where I work. I love what it, it's overwhelming because I work in one of the biggest counties here. So my caseload is like reckless when I, yeah, reckless. When I mean reckless. <clears throat> um, but I love what I do. I still, I'm still learning because I've only been there what four months, five months. Ashley um, from two times the mommy. I commend you and my wife for what y'all do. She's a social worker too. Oh yeah. So I've been kind of, you know, not overwhelmed, but just trying to deal with everything. I'm not resting that well, you know. Even we're going to bed late. And that's just because we can't rest getting up early. Because I'm up about five, five thirty every morning. Every mm -hmm. morning. And we're not sleeping in on weekends. And I don't know how to sleep in. So it's just been a lot. But things are going to be looking up. And I want you guys to know that we're not vlogging. I have to take my time to say it because I'll be saying blog, but it's vlog. We're not vlogging to get viewers just for show. We just want to show people. We want everyone to know that having two moms or two dads or a mom and dad however your family is your family and your family dynamic is your family dynamic but that you can function with two moms just like you function with a mom and a dad or two dads you know um it's not for show um this is real life stuff for us and um, we have a lot of things coming up we're going to be getting pregnant wait that's not what i meant to say we're going to start to <laughs> ttc ttc <laughs> We're work we're working on that. But after this took place, um, you know, a lot of stress in your body is not healthy. So we kinda pushed it back a little bit. But we're gonna be giving grandma and Emma some grandkids. A couple of them. Several in a couple. <laughs> several. So we're getting that in the works. Um and we're very excited because we have a very supportive family on Alexa's side. Not saying that I don't have a supportive family on my side, but because my sister Misha, my sister Vivian, um, very supportive. Very supportive. Um, and on my in-law's side, I got my, I got my mother-in-law, Grandma Emma, Aunt Betty Ann, Louise. We just got a, a, great, plethora, of a plethora of people <laughs> um, that we're going to have a lot of support um, with our children. And we're excited because they're going to have a lot to love. They love to love. Um, and that's a great thing. So we're excited about getting these babies. And my mother-in-law is going to be ecstatic. Trust me. <laughs> she's pumped. She's pumped already. And she don't even know she's pumped. But she's pumped. Yeah, but she's excited um, about grand grandchildren. And I'm excited that she's excited. Yep. yep. But before that, we got my, my sister's wedding. Yep, Lena's getting married. Go gay girl. It's gonna be a series in itself. She says she's gonna start vlogging, but I don't think they put that into work. So it'll probably be on this channel. Yeah, they ain't working on it. Her <laughs> fiance name is Jessica. Hi, Jess. Hey, Lena. <laughs> so they're gonna be getting married in January. January, January thirteenth. I don't know if I was supposed to tell the date. Well, I already said it. Oh, okay. 
Um, she, they're going to be getting married soon. They have like a U-Haul relationship too. And I only say that that's an inside joke. That's an inside joke because, you know, my wife and I, we only knew each other one month. Just one month. We didn't know each other through one other people. One month to the day. One month to the day before we got married. And it'll be four years in July. So, yeah. That's a inside, inside joke. joke. But, anything else you want to say? Happy Vlogmas, people. It's, enjoy your family. Love your family. Spend time with your family. While you can. While you can. And Tell just them enjoy. Tell you love them while you can. Tell them you love them while you can. And just enjoy one another. Make some cookies. Make some hot chocolate. Take a sip of wine or three. Wine cooler. Glass of water. Whatever you do. Enjoy it. Take the time and enjoy your family. Laugh. Cry. Get gas together. Okay, okay. Really? okay. <laughs> but just take the time and do what you do and enjoy your family. Even parents who work every day because we work every day, Monday through Friday. And working where I work, I've been working on the weekends just to get, you know... Uh, dealing with what I deal with, I, I'm not. I don't have to work weekends. I work Monday through Friday, but I've been trying to make sure I stay above and ahead of things. And so, you know, when you do have to work, set aside some time, thirty minutes, forty five minutes to do. You know, even if it's once or twice a week, just to do something with your family, because you can throw money, you could throw sneakers, you could throw clothes, you could throw new houses, new cars, and all that stuff is great. I'm not knocking it, cause I like like I like nice stuff and new stuff, but building that memory is priceless. You understand what I'm saying? building for your children or your family members to say remember the time we played a game or we watched the movie or we sat down and talk that stuff like that can't be bought sneakers go clothes go cars give out you sell homes buy homes all the money is great because i like money but that stuff is not more important than putting in that quality time you know I always want my children to remember that, and my wife, but you know, to remember that, you know, remember the time we played them games, or remember the time we went ice skating, or remember the time we just had some fun time together, road trips, just little things. It don't have to be spending a bunch of money. Get, go buy some board games. Get some cards. Make up games. Spend time. And we, we're we a reading family. And usually once a year I read a, a novel. I, we have a 7th grader. And I read way... Even though he reads 10th grade. I usually get something beyond his genre. Or his Lexile. Well, not genre. I get something way above his Lexile reading. His leave, reading level. And we read a book together. And we listen to a lot of books on audio. We do a lot of things so that they can remember and say, remember when. Life is short. Tomorrow's not promised. And if we don't know nothing else, we all know that one day we all going to die. Some sooner, than, like, some sooner than others. So build those memories. Make it count. Make each day, each moment count. Even when you get mad at your kids when they don't listen to you. And you tell them <laughs> to do something ten times. And they look at you like you're the crazy one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or when your wife. When she got that act wrong in her. Mm -hmm. Or your husband. But your wife. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Grandma Emma, we, we love, love you. you. <laughs> We're thinking about you. Make sure you subscribe. Grandma, did you, you subscribe yet? Make sure you subscribe. You two want Betty Ann and my mother-in-law. Mama already subscribed. She already said she watches. Oh, yeah. She watches <laughs> us. Make sure you subscribe, Uncle Bubba. Tell them to subscribe. You just told them to. Tell your mother's, brother's, cousin, aunt, sister's friend to subscribe. Come check us out. We're okay. Lexus is a little weird, but other than that. Really? We're okay. Okay. <laughs> just kidding. Well, Good. that was a little teaching moment for y'all. So, we'll hopefully, we'll have a better day tomorrow. And babe will check in if she's not so busy with her caseload. So, don't say my caseload. I got like six, almost 60 on my caseload now. I'm, I think they messed up. It's a caseload. Oh, yeah. I think they messed up. So, so good night, everyone. We love you. And look forward. We're going to be doing some um, fun things. We're going to Grandma's Emma house. We're going to put up this Christmas tree. We're going to be baking cookies in two different places. Going to my mother's house to eat up all her snacks. Check in. Gingerbread houses with her. And them gingerbread houses. And I'm going to my mother-in-law's house, too, to eat her snacks. 
She keep them good snacks. Good snacks yeah, she good. keep them good, wholesome name brand snacks. And good candy. <laughs> and good candy. It was Lexus who ate the other candy. I did not. <laughs> Out your candy jar. But well, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good night. <laughs>